Shall we begin? You know that I like to be punctual. Let me just take a breath first. Welcome to Right Now, your daily writing workout. Every day we have a, the same structure, different content, different theme. Today our theme, as requested by Cassie Clare, is motivation. Um, which is kind of like a trick request because these sessions that I'm doing really are the cornerstone of how I stay motivated. So I thought it's a good opportunity to maybe expand a little bit on how and why I chose this structure, how I use it within my motivational practice and just impart some of that throughout the session today and try and focus in on some of those things. Um, so, um, really, I think motivation is about learning how you learn and learning about what motivates you and helps you stay motivated. So one of the big things for me is having a responsibility like to someone else that I care about is like a big thing for me. So, you know, I've got to start writing this play. I'm at, I'm at the beginning um, of the process and it's like, okay, how do I start writing? So putting in these right nows for two weeks means I have responsibility to you guys, right? To give that space to you as well. And it means I'm guaranteed to have 30 minutes of writing every day. And I have to do it. It means I have to do my reading for the project beforehand to prepare for this. And it just gives me a sense of responsibility and structure to fill in the blank page, which is often the scariest part of, of writing or starting a big project, really. Um... So every day we have the same structure. I share a poem with you. We do three minutes of free writing. We then do 10 speed poems back to back. Um, I give you some editing homework. We take some communal breaths. Um, and then we do it all again tomorrow for the next two weeks though. We're nearly at the end of the first week now actually. Um, so today um, I chose a prompt from, so. Again, thinking about motivation. So I have a few cornerstone anthologies that I own. One of them is Being Human by Blood Axe. Now, what I love about anthologies is I'm dyslexic, so I don't really like reading big things. So I can just flick through them and honestly find a poem that is short. <laughs> I just go through them. I can find a new writer that I've never read before. I can take them traveling with me. And often when I start a writing process, it always starts with reading. Just picking up a book and saying, like, what excites me? What's interesting? To remind myself that I love poems and they make me feel. Often I keep reading until I laugh out loud or I cry. And then I'm like, okay, that's that's the one. Um, I'll talk a bit more about motivational process after I've shared this with you. But first I want to share the poem. I always post the poems in my story an hour or two before so that you can read them in advance if you want to. Um, if you just jumped in the chat, I'm about to share the prompt poem for today, which is Small Boy by Norman McCrag. He picked up a pebble, threw it into the sea, and another, and another. He couldn't stop. He wasn't trying to fill the sea. He wasn't trying to empty the beach. He was just throwing away. Nothing else but like a kitten playing, he was practising for the future. When, there's, when there'll be so many things he'll want to throw away. If only his fingers will be unclenched and let them go. He felt super dyslexic when I was reading that and it's only short, so I'll read it one more time for you. This is Small Boy. He picked up a pebble and threw it into the sea. And another and another. He couldn't stop. He wasn't trying to fill the sea. He wasn't trying to empty the beach. He was just throwing away. Nothing else but. Like a kitten playing, he was practising for the future. When there'll be so many things he'll want to throw away. If only his fingers will unclench and let them go. So that's our poem prompt for today that we're about to free write for for three minutes. Um, 
slightly different approach to the free write today. If you've never free written before, the idea is just to write freely. Try not to think, try and breathe, try and feel. Just don't stop for the three minutes. The slightly extra prompt today. Um, so basically, when I wake up, I generally do two things, particularly if I'm writing. So the first thing that I'll do is do a creative journal for five minutes. Obviously, we don't have five minutes, we have three. But um, it's just a way of checking in with myself, maybe offloading any personal stuff or emotional stuff. The name of the anthology is Being Human. Um, I just try and offload and it just helps me then go into my 10 minute free write, which is maybe more focused on a project I'm working on after that. And every day when I write in my journal, create, when I say creatively, it could be a poet, poem, it could be prose, whatever, but I'm approaching how I feel creatively. I always start it the same way. So I take a deep breath and the first sentence is, what do you want? Then I answer that question. Then I take another deep breath and I write, what do you need? And I answer that question. So I just want you to use that as well as responding to that poem. I feel like it kind of relates. Take that approach to your free write today. To breathe and ask yourself what you want. To breathe and ask yourself what you need. Yeah, hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, you've got a second to ask me a question before I set the timer. If you just jumped in, we're about to free write, so pick up your pen. I type loudly, so feel free to turn me down if you feel like you need to. Cool, let's go. Your three minutes start now.
a little bit of rage to let out today, actually, which was, that was handy. Um, okay, cool. Next up, we've got our 10 back-to-back -back speed poems. Um, so this is always, oh, my alarm's still going off. <laughs> this is always how I start any big project. But moreover, with this exercise, um, often if I get stuck on a big creative project, I will do this exercise just because when you're writing a big play or a big TV series, it can become very overwhelming. Um, and sometimes I just need a quick little sharp exercise to remind me like I can write something in a minute. I can write something. Just a reminder like you can do it. You have capacity. It's like, you know, those days when you feel tired and you can't exercise and you're like, just do seven minutes. Just try something. Remind yourself that you are capable. Also, when I start a project, I tend to do a lot of reading and watching of stuff. I tend to start with research. So this little exercise, because it's based around interesting titles, it's a good way for me to like be like, oh, I like that phrase. I like that word. I like that idea. Let me collect those things and use them as titles. And it's a way to explore a subject without too much pressure. Um, so uh, there's a lot of suspense if you've not done these before because you don't know what the exercise is. It's an exercise that I adapted from Roger Robinson's poetry workshops. And it's 10 back-to-back -back poems. You've got a minute to write each poem. I say poem, could be a bit of a song, could be a bit of a novel, could be a bit of academic writing, whatever you're doing. Could be a bit of who knows what it is, you're just writing stuff. That's kind of how I do it. Um, you've got one minute to write six lines of something, at least... Don't give yourself an option. You have to write six lines of something, yeah? Bonus challenge today is that if you are working, you're avoiding working on something, <laughs> is a good way to think about it. You're avoiding editing something. We all know what it is. <laughs> you're procrastinating something. Use this exercise to mine into that space loop them together so they're not individual things but one long 60 line thing i'm really challenging myself to do this because i don't usually take up that challenge but i've been trying to over the past few days yeah so 10 things i'll give you a title you have one minute to write six lines hopefully unpacking something but not necessarily if you're not taking on the extra challenge or you can't think of anything you got any questions now's your time to ask Just getting up my 10 titles because I forgot to move them. So you've got a bit of extra time to ask me a question. Oh, today the titles are bits of my own writing that I'm doing around this play. So if you keep them as your title, then just credit me just because it might also turn up in my play and then that would be confusing. Um, but I, I suggest you using them as a point of inspiration and as a placeholder. But if you edit any of, any of these, you know, challenge yourself maybe to come up with a better title. It's likely that there will be one. Okay, no questions. Pow! Motivation. Actually, it's so ironic that this is the theme for today because I'm really struggling to be motivated today. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm like... But we move. We move. Time at the ready. Cool. Your first title is... Who's got the rope? Who's got the rope is your first title one minute starting now Okay. Oh, 
I'm going to sneeze. Your next title is Boardroom Jokes. Boardroom Jokes is your next title. You've got one minute to write six lines of something with the title Boardroom Jokes. Let's go. Okay. She just jumped in, you can still write a few poems, well, quite a few poems or things. Your next title is Chicken or Gold? Question mark. Chicken or Gold? Question mark. Is your next title? You've got one minute to write six lines of something starting now. Chicken or Gold? Your next title is Sexy as they are stupid. <laughs> Sexy as they are stupid is your title. If you just jumped in, pick up a pen and write six lines of something, maybe a poem, with the title Sexy as they are stupid. Let's go. We're nearly halfway. Your next title is Men with Guns. Men with Guns is your next title. Your one minute starts now.
Your next title is After the Wind. After the Wind is your next title. You've got one minute to write six lines of something with the title After the Wind. Let's go. Only four more to go, but if you just jumped in, maybe you could write four little somethings today. <laughs> um, what? Question mark. Like W H A T. What? Question mark. Is your next title? Write six lines of something. Your one minute starts now. Three more. Come on, come on, Deborah, wake up. Sand, trees, bush. It's just like a little list of three nouns. Sand, tree, bush. Your one minute starts now. Okay, penultimate one. Savage. Just the word savage. Your one minute starts now. Let's go.
couldn't write fast enough. The alarm's going off. Um, one more. One more. Salt of the Moon. Salt of the Moon is your final title. You've got one minute to write six lines of something with a title. Salt of the Moon. Okay, we are done. We are done. 11 poems down for today. Before we breathe together, um, I will give you some editing homework. You can tell in it, I'm a bit like today. But I think that's one of the things with motivation, um, routine, and discipline, like curating a routine that you know keeps you going and keeps you generating. I mean, knowing when to rest is also really important, building up that muscle and that reflex. But, you know, I've worked out where my optimum stuff lie. Waking up at five in the morning is really important to me because that's just my creative time. But for some people, their creative time is going to bed at three in the morning do you know what I mean but then you just need to build up a routine that facilitates that means you still get daylight I spend a lot of my time researching like optimal sleep conditions optimal focus conditions because I'm a fucking geek oh my god try not to square sorry <laughs> um but yeah it's learning how you learn learning how you stay motivated and then designing a structure that optimizes that I sound like a geek. I am. You're editing homework, right? So I really believe that creating something massive is this kind of fire night tension point between play, chaos, child childlike recklessness, and to-do lists, organisation, discipline. Those are like your two things. And I can almost separate them into like your creative head, the person that creates all the stuff, and then the editing head, the person that organises and refines all the stuff. And I really, though those people have to talk to each other, I try and kind of separate those processes from one another. Because if your editor, if your organiser gets to involve in the creative mess, it will like push it out the way and you won't, it, it's too loud. It's like, why are you doing that? That's stupid. That's look. That looks weird. That's dumb. No one wants to hear that. I didn't like anything that I wrote today. <laughs> um... But I think I came up with the exercise I need to set myself to write this play. And that's good enough. Sometimes you need to write like a thousand really terrible, terrible things to come up with that idea. And if you don't let yourself be bold and play, you won't be able to identify that, right? Let the child play. Let the child play so that then the editor has the best stuff to choose from when that person comes in to organise, right? Um... So your homework, your editing homework for today. Um, I want you to read out everything you've written from today. Read it out out loud and don't let any of it go to waste. Anything that you like, organise it. The way I do it is I copy and paste the bits that I like and I'll put it into a folder that feels like it's under the theme of that content and I'll title it. The first thing I do is I title a project, right? So if you take Write to Rave, which is one of the projects I'm working on at the moment, if anything's about raving, I'll put it in that folder. And when I say anything, even one line, if I'm like, that line is dope, that line is really great. I've got a whole folder full of one-liners, but I just organise it into the according folder, give it a title, and I might think of a task. I might think, oh, that's, that one line's really nice. 
and it uses, I don't know, sand as a metaphor for love. That's weird, but I just came up with it. Put them all together. And then when I feel a bit lazy and I don't know what to do, I can just go, go to that folder and think, okay, let me develop this idea here. And it's basically prepping stuff for your future self. But it also means if someone comes to you with an idea, you can say, for example, when my, um, when Flipped Eye came to me and they were like, oh, you know, have you got a book? They were like, how many poems do you have? Because I put them all in that one project folder, which was like future collection. I have that folder still now, by the way. I could be like, uh, I have 50 pages worth. And they're like, great, cool. We have something to work with. So um, you've been playful. You've been childish. You've been reckless in this 30 minutes. Now hand it over to your editor and let them organise that stuff into something. Hopefully that made sense. Let's take some breaths. Let's do some box breaths today because I'm feeling really... Um, if you've not done box breaths with me before, it's just a way to get grounded after all this stuff that we've done together. We're going to hold for four, inhale for four, hold for four, exhale for four, hold for four. We're going to do that four times. Try and root your feet on the floor if you can, in through the nose, out of the mouth. We're going to hold. In. Hold, out, hold, in, hold, out, hold, in, hold. Out, hold, in, hold, out, hold. Whew. Thank you for joining me. If you think these will be helpful to anyone, like I said, I'll post this on my feed in the next half an hour. Feel free to repost, reshare. Today our theme has been motivation. And I did something today as a result. So that's good. Didn't feel like that was going to happen this morning. Um, so glad that even that snippet was helpful for you, Joe. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining me. Sending lots of love. Same time tomorrow. And we're nearly at the end of week one um, out of this two weeks of right nows. Sending you so much love, man. Wish I could, I really could do with a hug today. So take care. See you later.